Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 ranking video. In this ranking video, everybody, we are going to be ranking all the Dark Carnival Carnival games from worst to best. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. But with all that being said, guys, let's rank all the Carnival games in Left 4 Dead 2. Alrighty guys, so coming in at the very first spot here, this is going to be the Strongman Competition game. So this is going to end up being the game where you end up taking a melee weapon and you end up hitting the red target on the bottom and you end up trying to hit the bell so that way you can prove how strong you are. Now even though there's only three carnal games in the entirety of Dark Carnival, why did I decide to put this one at the very bottom? The reason why I decided to put this one at the bottom is because this one has the least amount of stuff that you can do with it. So, for example, if you were to walk up to this, the only way that you can end up interacting with this machine is if you end up meleeing it. You can't jump on it, you can't shoot it, the only thing you can do is melee it. And the thing is, is that when you melee it, you're never going to end up winning the game unless you end up having an adrenaline shot and even then, when you end up using the Adrenaline shot, it's only going to end up being for one attempt because immediately you will win and the machine will break and you can't try the machine again. It doesn't reset and the only way you can end up getting it to work again is if you reload the entire chapter from the very beginning. Which means that you can only either lose or win one single time on this particular minigame. And here's the thing, is that unfortunately, with the achievement, you can only end up having one person get the achievement per game if you need to get that specific achievement within your group. So that means that you're going to have to take multiple attempts up to four times if everybody still needs the achievement to end up getting this for everybody. So in summary, that's why I don't like this particular carnival game. It's just too bare bones for me, but the other two are definitely a lot better in my opinion. Alrighty guys, coming in at the next spot here, this is going to end up being Whack-A-Mole. Now, Whack-A-Mole was one of my favorite games as a kid. If any of you guys, when you were younger, ever went to like a Chuck E. Cheese's or any of those types of arcade places before they started to like kind of close down a lot, people started to be more interested in things like the internet, this was like the main game, the most infamous game that you could end up playing at one of these types of locations. Now, the weird thing is that unlike the Strongman competition game, this game right here, you can actually use your gun. If you wanted to, instead of meleeing the pistachio figures, you can just shoot them and they'll somehow for some reason give you points and you can just do this infinitely until the machine also will inevitably break. This machine will only break though after a certain score has been reached. I believe it's about 40 or 42 if I'm not mistaken. But the thing is though is that it doesn't break until that score. Whereas with the other game, you end up having to use your strength to the point where you like will literally physically break the game but a gun doesn't do it. I don't understand how that that's possible, but okay. Another thing I like about this game is that the points are collective over time, so you don't have to reach 42 within a single time limit. You can just keep going and going and going until you inevitably will get the score. And this is nice because that means that you can end up killing a couple of zombies, play the game, kill a couple of zombies and play the game, so that way you don't have to just go into a private match and turn the director off just to attempt to play the game. All in all, really solid game. Alrighty guys, now there's only one more carnival game left, but this one is definitely the best, and this is the one that's the most famous within the game. So coming in at the number one spot, this is going to end up being the shooting gallery game. So within this game, you can end up using your guns. In fact, you can only use your guns unless you're cheating because you can't reach the targets otherwise. But basically what happens is that you take any gun of your choosing and there's going to end up being some moving targets that you have to shoot. If you end up shooting the correct targets, you get a lot of points. If you end up shooting the one peanut guy, you end up losing points. Now in order to win this game, you have to collect a total of 750 points. If you do get 750 points, there is a physical reward that you get within the game and this is going to be the man, the myth, the legend, Noam Chomsky. And if you want, you can take him throughout the entire campaign with you and end up getting an achievement for it. So if you want, you can end up taking him to the helicopter and end up getting some gamer score by just simply taking a cool little gnome guy that you won for playing an in-game minigame. Now even though Noam Chomsky is not the best weapon by any stretch of the imagination, he is a physical, tangible thing that you can end up using the game, which only ever exists on this one map. So you get kind of like a unique throwable item slash melee weapon for just simply playing a cool little mini game, and that's fun. I like that novel little optional thing that you can do so that way you can just mix your gameplay up if you want to. 
I remember back on the Xbox 360 when I was playing Left 4 Dead and I was trying so damn hard to get this achievement with my buddies because we were new to Left 4 Dead, we really didn't know what we were doing, but we knew that this was a kind of a cool Easter egg and we're just like, hey, you know what? We can get an achievement for this. Let's grind this. Now, given the fact that I was a child and I didn't end up having that many brain cells at the time, I ended up struggling to get this achievement for a while, but it was something that was so fun and kind of like a nice like little journey that you could take. The achievement was something that you really had to grind for and it wasn't just a freebie that you got like the other two. So all in all, this achievement and reward just felt so much more satisfying when you did finally get it. But yeah guys, that is going to be my ranking of every single carnival game within Left 4 Dead 2. And I do truly hope you guys end up enjoying it. And if you did, please consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe, follow, and all that beautiful stuff. And if you guys have a specific thing that you would like to see me rank in the future, just please put them in the comment section down below. And finally, guys, if you would like to financially support the channel, I would tremendously appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. Use my supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite and Epic Games item shops because Epic is my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video. So shout out to Epic Games. And lastly, guys, I just want to let you know that I recently have started a business. It is called Breakthrough Business. And with Breakthrough, I'm going to be making multiple psychology themed courses where I'm going to be teaching you guys on how you can improve things such as your character, your mental health, and also your relationships. All this content is going to be available at mastermind.com and already within mastermind.com I have my very first course available for you guys which is going to be called the courageous man blueprint how to achieve unbreakable confidence for young men. I wanted to create something that would give you a lot of value within your life because confidence is something very important to me. When I was first growing up I had a lot of confidence issues and very low self-esteem about myself. And something that truly that a lot of people just don't understand until they end up suffering from it themselves. And so I wanted to make something that could be a gift to society so that way if anybody is suffering from the exact same thing that I suffered through originally, that there is something that you can end up using to end up getting your confidence back. So definitely check out the course via the link down below in the description. I know you guys will not regret it. And I hope you guys end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTubers are ever going to see. Thanks for watching, guys. I love all of you, and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god, Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe, too. Or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it, too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom!